Back and at it with a brand new Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone 2.0 video here guys hope you're enjoying season 5 reloaded but in this video is the fastest way to complete your faction showdown camo challenges and also how to unlock your new mastery rewards and I'm also going to reveal to you guys the new two weapon camos and the new weapon charm as well and I know it's kind of stressful and honestly time consuming to do these challenges they made these camo challenges way harder than the last camo challenges that ever had to come out because now you got to get 100 headshots with the SMG you got to get the 30 long shots as well 50 headshots with the sniper they kind of made it stressful for us this time but first off i'm gonna tell you individually the best way to complete each category and second guys i'm gonna show you a series of clips of showing you how easy it really is to complete it and demonstrate to you how to finish it as well i'm also gonna give you guys a bunch of class setups to use to complete this because you might not have a bunch of class setups to use so i'm gonna give you really good class setups to complete these challenges and last but not least i'm gonna provide the best maps to play on to finish your long shots for your lmg but guys first off for your assault rifle honestly it's really simple to complete this just play shipment hardcore or core it really worked easy for in hardcore for me i'll show you a clip second off guys for your battle rifles it's really easy as well i'm gonna show you a clip on that just lay down on the ground i'm gonna give you a class and just spray out through the middle lane of shipment marksman rifles as well it's really simple lay down on the ground and just spray out it's only 40 kills this is one of the easiest challenges to complete launchers as well just spray down the lanes or spray out where the spawns are coming out of with the launcher you'll fully get your launches done fast for the lmgs i'm gonna provide you a bunch of maps to already play on like i said when you're using melee weapon guys just remember to have the ride shield on but i'm gonna provide the class setup what to use all right guys for enemy headshots with pistols and also enemy headshots with smgs make sure you go to hardcore shipment it's extremely easy to get headshots in shipment all you have to do pretty much is spray above the torso or the upper body and it's pretty much going to clip the head it was really easy i'll show you in these clips how easy it really is one of the easiest challenges right here is the shotgun guys get three kills without dying 10 times the class i'm gonna give you guys you'll finish it literally in like three minutes and last but not least guys the sniper rifles make sure you're in core and make sure you're just sniping behind the boxes make sure you're head glitching and honestly you'll complete it from there now let's move on to what classes you're gonna want to use to get this done to get your three kills without dying 10 times use this bracing 890 class right here you'll complete it in no time and make sure you use a ride shield on this class too as well to get your long shots in hardcore, all you're going to want to do is use this RPK class. Have on that VLK 4x optic. It's extremely easy to clip people down distance. For your sniper rifles, guys, all you're going to want to do is use this FJX Imperium class. I'm telling you, this is the easiest class to get it done with. I promise. For your marksman rifles, you're going to want to use this EBR 14 right here. It'll just crunch this challenge out really fast. For pistol headshots, it's really not that easy to complete. It's time consuming. You can use these X13 autos right here. I'm telling you, with this class, you'll crunch it out in no time. For your battle rifles right here, never mind the tuning of the gun because it really doesn't matter that much. You can use this Chrono Squall class right here. Guys, remember, stay prone and you'll complete this challenge in no time. And if you don't know, staying prone is pretty much laying down. For your 75 kills with launchers, guys, are you going to use the RPG-7? Or you can use the Javelin if you want, but for me, it's faster with RPG. For your 250 kills with ARs, guys, remember, hardcore or core, just go to shipment. It'll be done in no time, whichever one you prefer. But use this M13 class right here. You'll be crunching through everything. Like I said before, guys, use the ride shield with your melee weapon. It's extremely easy to run them down. Make sure you have a flash on and make sure you have extra lethals on your perks. And other than that, guys, if you have the pickaxe, you'll complete it in no time because it's a faster hit. But honestly, if you don't have the pickaxe yet, just use the dual kadachis. You'll get it done in no time. It's still a one hit with the dual kadachis. And last but not least, for pretty much the hardest challenge to complete, the 100 headshots with the SMGs, just use this P90 class right here, the PDSW528. You'll be crunching down through everything, guys. Make sure to aim above the torso and just spray with it in hardcore because hardcore is the easiest to get the headshots, personally for me. You could go to core if you want, but honestly, I did it extremely fast in hardcore. All right, now I'm going to show you a bunch of clips on demonstrating how to complete each of these categories.
Drop them. Standing by. Target down. Put your man. As you've seen within those clips, it's not hard to complete all these challenges, guys. It's just time consuming. Honestly, they made this one way harder than the last ones. But now let me show you the best maps to play on to get your long shots for your LMGs. Those are the best maps to play on to get your long shots with your LMGs. Make sure you're playing TDM and Domination in Hardcore. Hardcore is the easiest to get your long shots done. Alright guys, time to reveal these new camels to you right here. So the first camel, we got the Eddies. It looks alright. It's kind of plain, honestly. Like, they could have made it better. All camels that came out pretty much for this game looked way better than these camel challenges. Now let me reveal to you the Eddie Supreme. This is the Eddie Supreme right here, guys. What is it, like hollowed or something? I don't even know. Holographic? It's weird. It is moving. Unless my game's glitch, but you've seen that moving too. All right, let's just break down the weapon charm right now. This is the new weapon charm that you get for the Faction Showdown Camel Challenges. It's the Payment Fulfilled. This one actually looks good, and the title is actually pretty lit. Hope you enjoyed that video, guys, on the fastest way to complete your Faction Showdown Camel Challenges. I know this one's kind of stressful, and it's time-consuming. They made this one two times harder than the previous ones before. I'll be breaking down everything that comes up for Season 5 Reloaded. I promise you that. Subscribe if you're new to my channel, and like this video. Peace. Got a bitch at work to call and she got her ass